everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those who are not familiar with who I am, I go by One Cheap Compadre, and you're watching Cheap Compadre TV, where on my channel we talk about savings, investing, politics, and even and even story time. Well, today is November third, Election Day, and online I've been hearing people talk about how the outcome of the election how it's going to turn out but yet individuals are talking so much about politics but yet they can't take themselves to the polling office and actually vote so I'm trying to figure out how you have the audacity to talk about who's going to win your predictions on who's going to win and yet you can find a time to be online and videotape yourself making predictions on how the outcome is going to be like but yet you can't spend that time going to the polling office or better yet not even filling out an absentee ballot and mailing it in the mailbox or taking your ballot over to the ballot office and dropping it in the drop box but yet you can spend the time to discuss the outcome of the election and it's funny how with all that you still are not practicing your right as a citizen and that is the right to vote and that is dealing with democracy here we have a democracy where people are voted in by the people. And these people who are elected, elected officials, are to represent those who vote them in. And it's kind of funny how I'm seeing people pop up on social media talking about how someone is going to win, which... I'm trying to figure out how that's possible when there's been record number of people voting and at the same time individuals are not talking about how people are trying their best to intimidate, suppress the vote, trying to get certain uh, absentee ballots taken out of the election because of drive up election office and not only that people are trying their hardest to put uh, ballot mailboxes in places so they can pretty much steal people's ballot steal people's rights as citizens to vote because you put it upon yourself to make it where you make it hard for individuals to actually practice their right as a citizen because you want to put obstacles in place and make it difficult for people so one we got people who are so much willing to give their opinions and their uh, ideas on the election but yet they can't vote then we got people who are trying to put in place obstacles to stop people from voting through intimidation through suppressing the uh, vote and they refuse to practice their rights as citizens to vote and get other people to vote. So I'm trying to figure all this out while there's election going on and people are trying to get other people to change their minds when it comes to the vote. I think there may be certain people who are out there who are kind of confused on who to vote for is that's I think that's very small in comparison because I think people are pretty much fed up with what's going on I think they pretty much made up their mind I pretty much believe that majority of people have their voted vote in already and they know who exactly who to vote for my thing is people are so quick to criticize somebody who has 47 years of experience opposed to somebody who just came in who was pretty much running this country down to the dirt 
and we know this and we need to be honest with ourselves if someone's in office in a senate in a house for four to seven years then they must be doing something right if they still got have them around if they were doing so bad they would have got them out a long time ago don't you don't you think so where you have somebody who hasn't been around that long and they they at a point where they want this person out because they know that this person doesn't represent them that this person is only looking out for their own selves uh only looking out for uh big business and the, everyone else is being sacrificed and it's just funny how people think that there is 56 percent who say they are living much better well i'm here to tell you from an independence perspective that I am not doing as good as four years ago. Four years ago, I had five jobs. Now I only have one. Luckily, this job allows me to be able to still function and be able to take care of my responsibilities. But yet, I am not doing as much better as I did before. Luckily, I invest in the stock market that allows me to be able to have a cushion. But everybody does not have that opportunity as I do to be able to invest, save money, reinvest money, and be able to take care of myself and my family and keep a roof over my head. Everybody don't have that luxury. So for those 56%, I definitely want to know who are those 56% because last time I checked, people, millions of people were losing their homes many people are being kicked out of their apartments and luckily due to the um random allowing them to stay without that they'd be gone right now and even though they have that in place people are still being kicked out of their homes and many people are still trying to find work and those jobs they once had are now gone so what do you think do you think it's really 56% are doing well right now? Are you doing well right now? Put a comment below to let me know if you're doing well or not. And did you vote today? Or did you vote weeks ago like I did in the beginning of October when I specifically told you guys to make sure to vote early because they are having these ballot precincts far out where you got to travel in order to uh, pass uh, pretty much to... Uh, put in your ballot personally or put in your uh, absentee vote personally so did you listen to what I said did you actually go out there and vote early or are you voting right now as we speak and you're ta casting your vote so put a comment down below destroy that like button click that uh, button for my latest content and until then have a great day